Have you ever felt disrespected by someone? How did you react? Did you lose your temper, lash out, or hold a grudge? Or did you handle it with calmness, dignity, and wisdom? Disrespect is something that we all face at some point in our lives, and it can hurt us, anger us, or make us bitter. But as Muslims, we have a better way of dealing with disrespect, a way that pleases Allah Azawajal and reflects our noble character and conduct. In this video, I will share with you seven Islamic lessons to handle disrespect based on the Quran and the Sunnah of the Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So do not skip. Lesson one, master yourself. The Rasul Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, the strong man is not the one who can wrestle, but the strong man is the one who can control himself at the time of anger. True strength in Islam is not about overpowering others, but about mastering ourselves. When we are faced with disrespect, we should not let our emotions get the better of us and react impulsively or aggressively. Rather, we should control our anger, restrain our tongue, and act with patience and forbearance. This is a sign of our faith, maturity, and dignity. Lesson 2. Respond with peace. Allah Azzawajal says in the Quran, وَإِذَا خَطَبَهُمُ الْجَهِلُونَ قَلُوا سَلَمًا The Quran teaches us to respond to disrespect with words of peace, not with words of insult or abuse. This is because we do not want to stoop to the level of the ignorant, nor do we want to escalate the situation and cause more harm. Instead, we want to diffuse the tension, protect ourselves from evil, and show our good manners and morals. By saying peace, we also remind ourselves and the other person of the ultimate goal of Islam, which is to attain peace with Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala, ourselves and others. Lesson 3. Reflect on yourself. Allah Azza wa Jal says in the Quran, Inna Allah la ma bi qawmin hatta ma bi anfusihim. Self-reflection is a key to personal growth and improvement in Islam. When we are faced with disrespect, we should not only focus on the faults of the other person, but also examine our own role and responsibility in the situation. We should ask ourselves, why did this happen? How did I contribute to it? What can I learn from it? How can I prevent it from happening again? How can I improve myself in the light of Islam? By doing this, we can gain clarity, insight, and wisdom, and turn a negative experience into a positive one. Lesson 4. Make wudu when angry. The Rasul Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Anger is from Satan, and Satan was created from fire. Fire is extinguished by water, so if one of you becomes angry, let him perform ablution, wudu, with water. Anger is a natural and normal emotion, but it can also be a destructive and dangerous one if not managed properly. Islam teaches us to make wudu when we are angry as a way of calming ourselves and reducing the intensity of our anger. Wudu is not only a physical purification, but also a spiritual one. It helps us to remember Allah Azzawajal, seek His forgiveness, and ask for His guidance and assistance. It also prepares us for prayer, which is another means of attaining peace and tranquility. Lesson 5. Practice Gratitude The Rasul Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Whoever does not thank the people, does not thank Allah. Gratitude is one of the most important and beneficial qualities in Islam. It is a way of acknowledging the blessings and favors of Allah Azawajal and expressing our appreciation and praise to Him. It is also a way of showing our kindness and generosity to others and appreciating their good deeds and efforts. When we are faced with disrespect, we should not forget to practice gratitude even if our kindness is ignored or rejected by the other person. This is because our actions are for the sake of Allah Azawajal, and our reward comes from Him alone. By being grateful, we also increase our positivity, happiness and contentment, and decrease our negativity, resentment, and bitterness. Lesson 6. Remember Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. The Rasul Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Remember Allah in times of ease, and he will remember you in times of hardship. Remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the essence and the source of Islam. It is the way of connecting with our Creator, Lord and Sustainer, 
and seeking his help, mercy, and guidance. It is also the way of purifying our hearts, minds, and souls, and attaining peace, comfort, and satisfaction. When we are faced with disrespect, we should not forget to remember Allah Azawajal and recite his names, praises, and supplications. We should remember that Allah Azawajal sees us and knows us, and that he appreciates and loves us, even if others do not. We should also remember that Allah Azawajal is the most just and the most wise, and that he will deal with the wrongdoers in the best and most appropriate way. Lesson 7. Trust Allah's Plan Allah Azawajal says in the Quran, وَعَسَىٰ أَن تَكْرَهُ شَيْئًا وَهُوَ خَيْرٌ لَكُمْ وَعَسَىٰ أَن تُحِبُّ شَيْئًا وَهُوَ شَرٌ لَكُمْ وَاللَّهُ يَعْلَمُ وَأَنْتُمْ لَا تَعْلَمُونَ Trust in Allah Azzawajal is the foundation and the fruit of Islam. It is the way of surrendering and submitting to the will and decree of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala and accepting His choices and decisions for us. It is also the way of having confidence and optimism in Allah Azzawajal and expecting the best from Him. When we are faced with disrespect, we should not lose hope or despair, but rather trust Allah's Azawajal plan and wisdom for us. We should realize that everything that happens to us is for a reason and a purpose and that it is ultimately for our benefit and growth. We should also see disrespect as a test of our faith and character and an opportunity to prove our sincerity and devotion to Allah Azawajal. Thank you for watching this video where I shared with you seven Islamic lessons to handle disrespect. I hope you found it helpful and enlightening, and that it inspired you to embark on a journey of spiritual discipline, devotion, and steadfastness. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. Also, let me know in the comments below, how do you handle a disrespect in your life? What are some of the challenges and benefits of following these lessons? I would love to hear from you. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to get notified of new videos every week. Until next time, peace be upon you.